Welcome to this Digital Dimensions Video Tech Tip. This is the first of a Getting Started mini-series for 3D Via Composer. I'm Michael Nolte. What we're going to cover today is importing a SOLIDWORKS assembly, creating and updating views, switching rendering modes, and a simple color change to the background. As in with almost any Windows program, we go to File and Open, but when we select our SOLIDWORKS assembly, we can pick out the configuration that we want to use. We also have some import options, like the meta properties, which is the custom properties, the solid bodies, and we can also do the surface models. We can also choose the import textures or appearances that we can bring in. So as we go through and do an open, uh, we'll actually allow it to do the converting. So this can be done on a machine that doesn't even have SOLIDWORKS on there. We do want to do a file and save as, and save this as a composer file format though now. But we do have some options, like we have the password and uh, accuracy. We can put a digital signature on there if we want. Change the compression rate, animation as far as the output for that. It does track the history, but then we can also set all the rights management, whether we want a end user to be able to measure things or, or view other items. So let's go and take a look at changing some of the camera alignments here. So if we go and pick out one of the predefined views there, you'll see that the model actually will rotate to the appropriate orientation. We'll go and click on the create new view just so that it stores and creates us a, uh, our first view. And I'll go and switch over to the right view. If you go back over and pick it again, it actually goes to the left view. So picking one of those buttons will actually go and switch them. We'll go and create another one there. I'll go and hold down my right mouse button, rotate it, and I'll go and select the view and hit the update button. To rename, just a matter of hitting the F2 and I'll go and rename the views to whatever I want it to be. And we'll go and switch over and let's go and pick out one more view here. So let's go and create a, another view. So a new orientation. I'll go and hit the new there. And again, F2 to do the rename. And I'll give it a separate name here. Pretty straightforward. So let's go and play with some of the rendering modes. So if I switch to the rendering tab and I can cycle through all these different rendering or shade modes that are available. All I need to do is create a view and it'll actually store that particular information in that particular view. So now I have that new shade view. I'll go and rename that one as well just uh, so I have a, uh, a name that correlates to the, uh, the shade mode that I decided to go with. Alright, so let's go and do one more here. So I'm going to rotate uh, again. I'll go and create myself a uh, tech illustration view and I'll go and go new view and quick little rename. And again, F2 is that quick rename. But maybe I wanted to switch over to a silhouette. I'll go and switch it to that mode, but to update a view, I select the view, and I'll go and hit the update button. And then you can see that the uh, view updates there as well. But let's go and make some changes. I want to get rid of the background or the ground there and get rid of that. Also turns off the grid at the same time. And then I want to get rid of the blue here. So I'm going to go and switch that off and change it to a white for the top and the bottom ground. All right, so I'm going to zoom in, and then I'll use my middle button uh, under my wheel to do the pan and I'll go and select my view and go and update it. Thank you for viewing this Digital Dimensions video tech tip. Please visit us at www.ddicad.com.